Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video I wanted to talk about distinguishing uh, true altum angelfish uh, from the so-called Peruvian altums or other forms of angelfish. From time to time uh, you might see for sale in your local fish store or online uh, so-called Peru or Peruvian altum angelfish. Uh, they usually cost a bit more than regular domestic angels. Well, in many cases, uh, these are just regular wild-type striped angelfish, Pterophyllum scalari. A lot of sellers nowadays are abusing this Altum brand, and very often pretty much any striped angelfish is called Altum angel, uh, in order to raise up its price, uh, so it's just a marketing trick. Uh, if you are dealing with a responsible and knowledgeable uh, retailer, uh, then Peruvian Altum should refer to a wild color form of common angelfish, Pterophyllum scalari. Uh, they are also called Rio Nanai angelfish. Uh, well, Rio Nanai angels originate from uh, Rio Nanai river drainage in Peru. Uh, they are easily distinguishable by a black spot uh, below the dorsal fin. Uh, no other form of angelfish has such a black spot, so it's quite easily distinguishable. Uh, Rio Nanai angels uh, also have rusty brown or sometimes reddish spots throughout their bodies. Uh, the other feature that distinguishes them from other forms of angelfish is a slightly upturned mouth, which makes them resemble true altums. Uh, however, they are not real true altums. Uh, you could use the scientific methods of identifying uh, species uh, which involves uh, counting teeth and scales, uh, but in order to do so, you would have to utilize, uh, utilize sorry, your fish, uh, so it's not very applicable to us hobbies. Fortunately, there are also other ways. Altum angels are a different species, uh, Pterophyllum altum, and it has very distinctive appearance. True altums uh, have a deeply indented uh, snout, upturned almost at a right angle to the head. So they have a very high, almost vertical body shape that no other angelfish has. Uh, they also have a bro uh, broad brownish bands. Altum angels grow much larger than regular angelfish, with some specimens reaching over 40 centimeters, which is almost uh, 16 inches height. Uh, this is a famous photo made by Simon Forkel, Altum breeder from Germany. Uh, you can see that Altum has almost a vertical snout form as compared to common zebra angelfish. True Altums, uh, they originate from Orinoco River uh, tributaries uh, in uh, Venezuela and Colombia. Uh, many wild caught uh, forms of Altum angels are from Rio Orinoco. Uh, Rio Atabapo and uh, Rio Inirida. Uh, some true altums uh, were also reported from Rio Negro in Venezuela and Colombian border, but most of them do come from uh, Orinoco uh, drainages and uh, tributaries. Uh, you can see from this map Rio Nanai angels and altum angels uh, populations are separated uh, by almost uh, a thousand kilometers, which is about 600. 20 miles, and the likelihood that they are, are related is very low. Uh, here is another distribution map from a nice little book by Horst Linke, Altum Scalari. Uh, you can see that true Altum angels, uh, Pterophyllum Altum, they do not live in the same locations uh, with common Altum fish, uh, sorry, with common angel fish, Pterophyllum Scalari, so they do not share the same habitat, they don't share the same localities, they live in different uh, river systems. Well, I hope you liked the video, please subscribe, and in the near future there will be a video about uh, buying and caring for true Altum angel fish. So see you later, bye bye. Thank you.